What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hakimi, back with another video. Yeah, boy! Like I got two on me, go go rob me like bike. Damn! That's how she sound when I pipe. So today we're diving into a hot topic, one that's been buzzing around the streets and social media. The question of the day is, is Blackie the Drake of South Africa? Let's break it down and see if our boy Blackie has what it takes to stand shoulder. To shoulder with the six god himself. Are you ready? Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about music versatility. If you know Blackie, you know he's not just a one trick pony. My man blends trap, RB, and hip hop like it's second nature. Tracks like Big Time Schlapa give you those hard hitting vibes while Hold brings out the smooth, melodic side. You know, sound familiar? That's because Drake's been doing this for years, switching from rap to R&B and even throwing in a little dance hall and Afro beats nyana for the babies, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing, while Drake's versatility has helped him dominate the global scene, Blackie's range is still primarily within South African borders. The question is, can he push those boundaries like Drake did? Drake did. Drake did. Drake did. <laughs> Next up, we got to talk about the bars. Blackie's lyrics are straight fire. He's got that mix of street introspective lines and the occasional love song you know the story something that drake fans know all too well ah you guys know it i mean drake practically invented the same social emotional rapper lane vibe that black is in blackie's track david is a perfect example of how he can get deep while still keeping it real Kind of like how Drake does with tracks like Marvin's Room or Doing It Wrong or Emotionless. So, is Blackie tapping into those same vibes? Absolutely! <laughs> I mean, he constantly hit that level. But can he do it over a very long period of time like Drake? Doing the emotional depth and mass appeal. That's the big question. <laughs> Let's not forget about cultural impact. Black is definitely making waves in SA, influencing the sound and style of a new generation. He's got the youth on lock, no doubt. But here's what Drake, where Drake sets the bar high. Drake didn't just influence a scene, he became a global cultural icon. I mean, we all know this. Now, Blackie's influence is growing, but will it extend beyond the streets or borders of Mzanzi? Will he be the voice of not just South African youth, but of a global generation? Will he? Only time will tell. <laughs> Only time will tell, man. Now, let's talk about collaborations. Black is already teamed up with some of SA's biggest names. Nasty C, Younger Chief, you name it. He's shown he can vibe with different artists and bring something unique to every single track. This is Drake 101. Drake's got a feature on nearly every person's album. From pop to rap to Afro beats, he's there. Black has got that same potential, if we're being honest. If he starts crossing more international borders, who knows, we could see Blackie on a track with some of the world's biggest names. Imagine Blackie featuring Drake. I said it. I, just imagine Blackie featuring Drake. Like, Im yo, imagine that. Oh! Let's get into the numbers. Blackie's been killing it on South African charts. 
His tracks are racking up streams and he's definitely got a dedicated fan base. Shout out to you guys. But when we talk about Drake, we're talking about a guy who's broken records left, right, and center, and middle center. Billboard Hot 100? Billboard Hot 100 where? Drake practically lives there. So the question is, can Blackie replicate that kind of success on a South African level? And maybe even globally? If he continues on this trajectory, it's not impossible. I don't want to lie. It's not impossible. He can surely get there. But the grind is real. And Blackie's still got a long way to go. I don't want to lie. He's still got a way to go. Let's not sleep on style and branding. Blackie's got a unique, unique look and vibe. Something that's crucial for building a brand, whether it's fashion sense or how he carries himself. He's making a statement. You saw the green hair, Mfana. <laughs> but Drake, Drake's a branding genius. From OVO to his social media presence, everything Drake does is calculated and on point. Black is definitely on the right path, don't wanna lie. But if he wants to be the Drake of SA, Mfana, his brand needs to reach that next that next level that next one like something that resonates not just with sa or south africans but with with fans worldwide all over the globe let's talk come up stories blackie's rise to fame is pretty inspirational from dropping out of university to making hits his journey hasn't been easy but it's been worth it clearly drake on the other hand went from tv actor on the grassy wheelchair jimmy you know the stories <laughs> everybody knows wheelchair jimmy from the grassy to one of the biggest artists on the planet both started from humble beginnings and hustled their way to the top the difference drake had that global platform from the very beginning while blackie's grind has been more locally based but hey man that just means that Blackie's story is still being written and who knows where it'll end up. One last point to consider. How will Blackie impact the next generation of artists? Drake's influence is undeniable. There's a whole wave of artists who owe their sound to him. Black is definitely inspiring the youth in South Africa. But will his influence extend to the next wave of global artists? If Blackie keeps pushing boundaries, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a whole generation of artists following his lead. He's got the talent, he's got the drive and the influence to do it. Don't forget the big time schlapa. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. So, is Blackie the Drake of South Africa? Well, the potential is definitely there. He's got the versatility. He's definitely got the versatility, the lyrical talent, the cultural impact, and the style. You won't have some. The style is there. But there's a lot of ground to cover. Drake's a global icon. And if Blackie wants to reach that level, he's got to keep grinding keep innovating and most importantly keep making fire music like he's been doing but what do you guys think drop your comments in the section below is blackie on track to become the drake of south africa or is he carving out a lane of his own and hey if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content this is hakimi signing off catching you in the next one hey man let's get it